Welcome to Understanding Conscious Cryptids with me, Kat Hansen. I am bringing you this show in an attempt to educate you about the forgotten creatures and beings that exist alongside of us on this amazing planet that we call home. Many of these hidden beings are elusive and highly intelligent. Our ancient ancestors of North and South America knew of and understood these beings quite well. Many people are coming into contact with these elusive creatures and they do not have any knowledge or understanding of what it is they are seeing and interacting with. Seeing and interacting this with. oftentimes leaves these individuals fearful and confused. Seeing and interacting it's my intention to shed some light and share knowledge through this series. Seeing and interacting I'm going to help alleviate that fear and confusion. It is time for the light to shine through the darkness. If you are interested in sharing your encounter, Contact me directly at cathanson at yahoo.com, and I hope you enjoy the show. Hi everyone, welcome to Understanding Conscious Cryptids with me, Kat. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've had a request from a couple of viewers to talk about um, dimensional shifting. So I'm just going to give a real quick lesson on it. It's just more like a tutorial. Um, first and foremost, I want everyone to know that one 90 degree turn of your physical body and you can enter into another dimension if you know what you're doing. Okay, and back in the way, way back there's in the past, um, the world fell, you know, from being a light energy into a denser energy. You know, and this is not a new thing. It's like the ocean. It rises and it falls. It rises and it falls. You know, and this wisdom was lost. Okay, just real simple. And... In those periods, in those heavier times, those denser periods here on Earth, um, the elders were still able to shift with three 90 degree turns of the physical form. You know, so they would turn and turn again and turn again, you know, and they were able to shift. Now we're entering a lighter, less dense period of physical reality, and this ability to shift the dimensions will begin to return to us. Yeah, I know. Exciting, huh? In lower, denser dimensions, there are more laws of nature. Okay? That's just a given. These laws are what bind us and confine us. But they also protect us, you know. So, we have these laws in our vibrational form until we are aware enough to be self-responsible. Um, as many of the laws are lifted with us, you know, within us, um, the raising of our frequencies from the purging of our old habits, thoughts, forms, and beliefs um, no longer are in line with our higher selves. So we have less restrictions in physical reality. And that way we are able to, um, I guess, grow more. We have, the, have a burden, so to speak, of being more self-responsible. You know, because we really have to watch what we're doing. Um, some laws of nature, you know, are beginning to slowly lift from our dimension here in the past few years. On our wonderful ball of gas that we call Earth. You know, as they lift, um, we're going to feel many of the symptoms that we have shared many, many times in the past. You know, these symptoms are a lot. There's so many of them. It's not even funny. But... The ones I want to address mainly are disorientation and short-term memory loss, okay? And a lot of people are coming to me with these problems, you know, they're like, I can't believe this. I thought, you know, it would be getting better, and it's not, okay? Disorientation can cause many people to react in many, many different ways, you know, because each, each of us is different, you know, and not only that, you're adding that the laws of nature are being lifted, okay, and like I said, responsibility is a bitch, and it's being brought out in each of us, you know, we're having to be more responsible, so we have seen a wide range of these reactions, you know, to learning, 
to coping with more and more self-responsibility. You know, it's... People go nuts when they're having these shifts, okay? And it's hard for them to deal with everything, all the different emotions and the experiences and everything. So we end up with mass violence, shootings, you know, epidemic levels of depression and anxiety, you know, and this great big illusion of being stuck. You know, what do I do now? Where am I going to go there? You know, things like that. These can be frustrating. And they can manifest in a whole, full range of crazies. I mean, I'm talking way out, full-blown, psychotic whack jobs. For those of you, you know, who are having a hard time with being self-responsible, okay? I'm just saying, you guys are out there going off the deep end, you know, ODing on drugs, getting yourself thrown into jail, getting out, going to parties. You guys are just going off the deep end, okay? And that can go from that cra amount of craziness to just feeling empty and lost. You're stuck in a void, you know? You're stuck in a personal and spiritual growth. You just feel like you're having a harder time, I guess, is the best way to put it, you know? And it, it sucks, you know? It really does, and I get that. You know, so we have to kind of buckle down a little bit and understand that we're going through these growth periods. And as we're going through the growth periods and shifting the, our, our gears here, it's going to be an easier time with more responsibilities. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth, you know, as we're giving more and more responsibilities to become um, functioning members of the different phases of reality, you know, the different dimensions, having more responsibilities actually becomes easier, okay? Um, we're given a whole different arena to manifest in, okay? And all of these symptoms that I just named, from craziness down to complete seriousness, from um, intense joy to bottom dragging depression these things can di you know they can manifest you know um depending on your level of awareness okay um the biggest one that i'm having with people right now is short-term memory loss this is a symptom you know and it's a sign that the universe is starting to give us back our responsibility for the ability to personally and physically dimensional travel Yep, this is where you get to learn how to do all of this, okay? You're going to feel like you're losing it. And I mean literally. All it takes is for us to lose our thought process, is to turn around or walk through a doorway. Both of these actions are triggering our short-term memory loss. Science has proven this to be a fact. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. What science does not realize is that we just had a mini lesson in dimensional travel. The same is true, you know, when you have a dream. And when you wake up and you roll over, the dream's gone. You know you had the dream, but you don't remember what it was. Well, what's the solution for that? You've been told a thousand times, keep a dream journal right by your bed. If you start to have a dream, you wake up and have the dream, write it down so that way you remember it in the morning. The solution for what's going on with you and your memory loss? Well, you're about to take off to do something you know, like go find your keys, your glasses, you know, or go over to the grocery store. Before you make that physical turn, hold tight to the thought and you will not lose your memory. The same is true for remembering your dreams. When you dream, wake up slowly while going over the dream in your mind. Before you move, before you open your eyes, before you roll over sit there and replay that dream in your head and if you have to i tell people this all the time reach over grab that dream journal before you open your eyes so that way you can remember what you're experiencing and write down as you go through it okay if you are ready you know to dimensional travel and do not care where the darn glasses are or your car keys are or anything like that anymore 
then the Star Elder Shade that you're ready to start playing with this little exercise. Because you're about to shift gears and turn around to go feed that dog or open that window, etc. As you turn, place a vision, okay, of a place or a time you would like to be in. Then make that full turn around and focus on that other reality. Now here is the catch, okay, and it's it's a doozy. You cannot try to do this. Okay, let me repeat that. You can't try it. You have to be able to do this as easy as if you're taking a breath. <gasps> that simple, okay? Or you're going to look for your glasses or your car keys. Because why? You failed. If you try, you're just going to push it away. It has to come naturally. Okay, after all of this is said and done, this is a natural ability that you're remembering now. Okay, so just know that every time you turn a corner or walk through a doorway, you are living in mastery school. Okay, relax and allow that vision to just be there. Most of the time, for now anyway, you're going to turn around and just uh, end up in that stupefied, you know, old void again saying, Oh, what was I about to do? But keep at it. Practice. And once you manage to do this, you will most likely get slam dunked back into this reality within a few seconds. And believe me, it's going to hit you hard. It's going to be just like somebody yanked the rug out from underneath you, okay? You're going to feel really tired, confused, out of balance. Your eyes are going to need to readjust. You know, this sort of thing. Your hearing is going to be wonky for a while. You're going to hear echoing, you know. Um, coming back to this reality, you're going to feel heavier. And it may even be depressing for a bit for some of you, okay. The hardest symptom is being word challenged and losing our nouns when we come back. Okay, this is because you're flip-flopping back and forth between worlds and not remembering it. So this issue will increase for a while. Um, it's in these times that we need to immediately apply grounding or earthing techniques. Now, I know a lot of you may not be aware of what those are, and there's probably a lot of you that do. So, if you have any questions about it, I want you to contact me and I will explain it to you instead of making a whole great big long video on it, okay? Um, I want you guys to understand that you need to ground. Okay, this is imperative to your psychological and spiritual health. Okay, the more you go out, the longer you're going to be able to stay in your desired alternate reality. Okay, these alternate realities have less laws of nature. So manifesting and creating are going to come much quicker and you're just going to be much faster at doing them easier. Okay, no matter what I say here, I can't prepare you for what you're going to experience. Okay, or how it's going to make you feel by making um, your way back to this world, okay? And here's another thing, you know, we're merging worlds, not leaving them behind. We are not going to have a mass exit of humanity that will not return. We are becoming a bridge between worlds, okay? We're merging worlds and we're bringing up the frequency of our collective reality. So let me say that again, we're not gonna be making a stampede off the planet, people, okay? We're put here to help everybody and to try and make a collective upbringing of the frequency of our reality, okay? The fact is that we've mastered the ability to let go of our short-term reality already, okay? So that phase one of learning to dimensional travel will, you know, is complete once we do that. So now we're going to graduate from that part of the process. And all you have to do is put something back in its place, in that void space. And I know it sounds really simple and stupid, but try telling that to a baby who's trying to walk for the first time, okay? So, let me say that again, okay? We've mastered the ability to let go of our short-term reality, okay? By doing the exercise that I just gave you ab above, okay? Once you do that, then your dimensional lesson in traveling is complete, okay? 
So all you're going to have to do now is be able to bring yourself back into this dimension in that void of space. Okay, and once you do that, you're good to go. Okay, so I want you to understand that you're entering into this practice knowing that you, you are responsible for what happens in an alternate reality or the reality that you come back to. This is going to accelerate your abilities and it's going to change your vibrational rate. Okay? It's, I'm not going to say it's going to make you feel super terrific because it might not. It might make you feel lost. It might make you feel, you know, your look stretching out over this vast period of voidness of a limitless reality, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, some people it happens to like that. Others, most of us, look at and go, okay, I'm ready for this. I am so ready. You know, and that's what I always tell people. If you look out and you just feel like you are lost out there, then you're not ready. You're not ready. You need to go back. Start all over again. You know, and eh, you don't pass go. You don't collect $200. You got to go back. Okay? So, we're remembering, we're bridging, we're merging not only dimensions, but also the wisdom Okay, of our ancestors into the bones and the stones of their ancient temples. Okay, so let me say that again. Into the bones and the stones of their ancient temples. And when you realize what I've said there, you're going to realize that the bones and stones of their ancient temples are the buildings of today. So, I hope I've explained dimensional travel to you. I hope that you understand that it's really very basic and that anybody can do it. And it's just baby steps. That's all it is. It's just baby steps. And once you accomplish that, you're going to be able to do anything. So. That being said, I thank you for coming here and visiting with me today. I hope this gives you a quick explanation of it. It's not too difficult. Um, I'd like to thank my Patreons. My patrons, I should say, over my Patreon. And if you like this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know anybody who would like it, please tell them about us. In the meantime, I hope you have a great week. Please stay safe. And I look forward to talking with you again. Bye, everyone.